Have you seen Veritasium video about the mechanism that shrinks when it's pulled? Well, this is a Lego counterpart built almost entirely with Legos except for the rubber band. You pull on it and then suddenly it snaps and goes against you with twice the force that you were pulling with. The principle is really simple, much simpler than the one yeah, that Veritasium has shown. It's um, I didn't want to deal with all the toggling from two springs in parallel, to, I mean two springs in series to two springs in parallel. I just wanted to use only one elastic element. So what I did was that I have this lever that toggles between having a pivot point P here, pivot point P here. Let me show that again. So, see I'm pushing, pushing and pushing and the yellow piece pushes on this pin. And then it toggles. And see, the now the bar is pushing against this pin, which is, you can see that it's much closer to the pivot point. So, it's like half the distance, so it's twice the force. So once you trigger the toggle, it pushes back against you with twice the force um, that it had. It feels really strange indeed, just as Veritasium says, like, uh, like say if I push on it like this, like it feels like a button and then it's just rather than quickly going forward like a button on a keyboard would, it you suddenly decides to snap back against you. Note that uh, once it passes point, this is basically free to move. So all the force is being applied right here. I wonder if I can make it into a keyboard key. That would be interesting to make a whole keyboard with, I don't know what you would call it, a Cherry MX Ultraviolet or something. But yeah, there's many ways how you can implement um, counter snapping action. And uh, Veritasium ones, the ones that Veritasium shows with uh, parallel. I mean, series to parallel switch. That's really clever, but can only do twice the force. This can do whatever force ratio you want. I want to build a much bigger version of it because here you can see that it only does twice the force over short distance. And uh, I feel like over longer distance, it would just feel even more strange. Not that it doesn't feel strange as it is, but Stranger the better. Yeah, it feels like I keep pushing on a button, but then suddenly something went, something very unexpected happened to the button and pushes against. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna show how I built it. It's really simple. This. Um, so this piece and that piece, they stop the, um, the toggle from going too far in, the, in that direction, in the clockwise direction. The, this bar triggers the toggle. You have to have a small wheel here. You could also use small gear or something so that it is triggered before this pin contacts the lever. Right. Um what else? I just used uh, uh, shafts as linear rods, pretty straightforward, and uh, the only issue is that sometimes things catch where they shouldn't, because there's like Lego pieces passing by one another, but especially this pin. 
but um, yeah, I should make a 3D printed version of it originally. I was trying to make a 3D printed version, and instead of uh, this toggle mechanism, I had uh, like a, like a catch where it would push. This would push it up ramp, uh, slide off the catch, and then that would go back. And um, that was a simple idea, but it would have worked. It maybe would have worked if it was injection molded, but with the 3D print, the ramps are not smooth enough. So I'm gonna uh, design a um, version that's just like that. But 3D printed, I'm gonna try to make it. Uh, um, print in one piece that would be nice I think so that no assembly required ideally I would want to make a button like that where you push on a button and it just pops against you or maybe make it like a, a little toy door and you open the toy door but it yanks back against you and perhaps even uh, like if I can make it yank the handle out of your hands that would be most interesting so yeah, a lot of ideas. I'm not sure what kind of practical uses besides toys that I might have, but it would be interesting to have a keyboard like that. Although I suspect that it's not like the best thing on the fingers necessarily. But um, maybe you could have a very special button so that if you press it, you know you press it that button in particular because it snaps back at you. Yeah, from below you can just see where all the pins go. And uh, so, and really nothing much to it. So it's just one, two, three, like excluding pins, I think maybe 12 pieces. So, yeah, just one elastic element, this rubber band. So one problem with um, the version in Veritasium video because it has a lot of different elastic elements they all need to be matched together or else it's not going to work as a bunch of people found out when they were trying to replicate it exactly with 3D printing. Now uh, this is just one uh, rubber band uh, there's no matching required between several rubber bands they just much better Anyway, I think um, this is about it. I might make um, a build video later. Maybe get one of my kids to make a building video. And um, see you next time. Uh, like and subscribe or not subscribe, whatever. And uh, yeah.